what is up boys and girls, welcome back to War Thunder and welcome to some Lansen gameplay. The Lansen is a plane I really really like. Uh, it's one of my, of my favorite planes in the Su Swedish tech tree and it teaches you about certain uh, things about the Dragon and the uh, Vigan as well. So the J32 and the, A30, the J32B and the A32A are pretty much similar aircraft. The only difference they have a couple of uh, minor differences. They, this one is faster, but it's a bit faster than, than the A32A, and it has four 30 millis under the nose. They don't have much ammunition, so you don't want to spray with them. The control surfaces are quite good in responsiveness, as for medium and high speeds. Do not uh, do be careful when uh, controlling the plane, especially when diving down at uh, 1100 kph and plus they will lock up. Uh, if you ask me, the roll rate is quite good, it's very very good it's, it, actually, it's not uh, over too responsive, it's actually my favorite type of roll, of roll <coughs> language of roll rate in a plane. Now the engine performance is, as I said, very very good. It's nothing anywhere close to MiG-19 or MiG-21 or an A5, but yet, as for its uh, design, it's very very good. As you can see here, I'm pulling this J72 into the vertical, but once I see that he cannot follow, I'm just turning horizontally and waiting for him to lose any extra speed. The speed doesn't want to drop below below 690, so I find my spot, I just dive down and use the air brakes. The air brakes, if you ask me, in this plane are kind of hilarious. So if you want to force an overshoot or anything that will, <laughs> you might, you know, slow down. Uh, don't rely on them. You have to pr primarily rely on your speed and the distance you have on the other plane. Now, uh, in this PR, you're mostly gonna get up tiered most of the time to 10, 3, 10, 7, so you gotta be careful. My tactic here is this I want to use my side flying tactic. Side flying is something I don't see many people do. Actually, 50% of the of the people I meet up in my just actually do it and, and at least I'm happy to see that. So you will, I highly I highly urge you to stay low initially. Why? Because first of all, uh, you have no countermeasures uh, because and uh, in case you get caught up in high altitude against any missile you will die. And and when I see any target I just pick up and you know try my shot and then go back down it's like reverse boom and zooming actually it is reverse boom and zooming uh first target here is the mirage the mirage did uh, exactly what i do in most of my matches he goes and rush the enemy uh, and rushes the enemy but uh, his mistake here is he decided to dogfight uh, right from the start of the match. Do not do this in any plane doesn't matter what plane you are if you're even if you're in the most powerful aircraft if you decide to dogfight in the first minute of the match, you're, prob you're probably going to end up like this. So, as I said, reverse boom and zooming. We pitched up and now we're slowly going back down. And while going down, I do some spotting. I don't want anyone to, <laughs> to, anyone to you know, get close to me and decide to, you know, missile me up. Uh, your worst enemy in this aircraft are going to be, are going to be the A-10s. Uh, but why? They're not any. They're not fast. They're not. They're maneuverable. They get a thirty mil under the nose, and they carry all aspect long range M9Ls. So you want to be careful with them. Uh, preferably, you want to you know flank them because they're slow, and with the the speed you have in the Lancet, you should be able to catch them off guard. So what I'm doing here, I'm just keep spotting. I want them to you know. <laughs> be safe and feel them give, give them a sense of security and at the perfect point I just turn back in and use a couple of M9Bs of the Rosses the M9B, the Swedish one at least, I don't remember the actual name uh, is still a very very capable missile if used correctly, oh what the hell there we go, first target, uh, A10, we just use the missile and what we do is we just peel off like that I have nothing to do in the furball, as I said, it's not that big of a furball, yet I want just to disengage. And why, you'll see in a second. 
another example is like this this one right here this is not the, the american f5 this is a xinyang f5 i just caught him i just caught him off guard <laughs> easy work for the m9b another target here is the uh, another f5 but this time it is this is the american f5 he's very very much he's very very busy with one of my teammates and Grand Spain is a kill. Now, the reason I'm in, in the furball is, as I said, if you're completely sure that your enemy, that the, sorry, your team has the furball, the furball fight in their hands, well, do feel free and go in and dogfight to help them out. Uh, after all, this is a team game. This is how you should work. Uh, but here, as you see, my team is dying, so I decided to go the other way. Uh, F4C is coming behind me, and remember, remember, any plane can go into a turn if forced into one, and I'm just slowing the, the plane down to, you know, my optimal speeds, which are 950, 800, 80, 80, 850, and try to force another shoot, which, um, <laughs> it worked, so, <laughs> there we go, uh, the F4C beautifully goes in front of my nose, uh, anyway, so, What's left is a Harrier, an A5C, and there's an A10 somewhere, which I have no idea if he is late or early, and we trust me, we're about to find out. Why that's a problem? Well, the early carries two A9Ls, and the late one carries uh, four of them. So, I checked out the kill field, I think I checked it in, uh, so that he had two kills, so he could, he could probably have used both of them in order to grant himself, himself two kills. So, uh, as I said, we just, uh, from from the pre-top level, we just uh, pitch up and for the A5. My problem here is I try to lob a missile up his asses. But, obviously, it's not gonna work, the A5 carries flares, and my mistake here is I keep going for the A5 and the A10 is just getting up slower, uh, closer to me. So, had this A10 been a... Uh, a, a late variant, I could probably be dead, I, I'm not, so I guess we live to see another day. Thankfully he, take, he gets taken out by uh, by Feng, so all we have to do to deal with now is the A5. Now, if you ask me, uh, the J32 against the A5, uh, if you have two capable pilots, it probably does not stand a chance. But, uh, should he underestimate me, I'm just gonna, you know, throw him, throw, throw him into the hangar. So, uh, my plane, my plane has is good at large turn circles, circles as I said in the beginning. Uh, if I keep my speed up, I should be able to, you know, uh, dogfight him in relative ease. Uh, that's it, providing I don't let him uh, to, you know, sla latch into my 6. Why? Because the A5C carries two magic one mantras, as I said, they're gonna get a massive buff up to 35 Gs. Even at 30, uh, the, the mantra is a very, very capable missile. It's probably the best missile right now we have. I'm referring to the magic 2, not the magic 1. But uh, this A5 he has probably no idea what he's doing because uh, I should be dead. All he has to do is pretty much pull me into the vertical and dive up, dive down back on me. And pretty much if he uh, controls his speed in the right way, it should be an easy job for him. But I have, it, as you can see, he's struggling a bit. And right here, as I said, if he had a mantra, I should be dead. He doesn't, so... Uh, the roll rate in this plane, I said initially, is quite good. Is not extremely for it's extremely good for a roller plane, but this is the type of roll rate I like. So, forced an easy overshoot. My speed is still above 900, and it enables me to follow me up onto this turn. He has consumed so much of his speed; he has no idea where to go. And uh, after this turn, yeah. There's not much he can do about that. There goes his elevator. Uh, it should be an easy job for him, man. I mean, I don't understand what the hell can you do wrong with something that requires no brain. But anyway, it's an easy kill. I'm glad to take it. 
Now, the reason the J32B is where it is in the tech tree is because uh, it teaches you about some certain things before you unlock the J35D Dragon. The Dragon itself is a very, very highly maneuverable aircraft with very good tip speed, but it has, as this one, it has no countermeasures. And also, I think it has two less 30 mils with the same amount of ammunition. So, what this plane has to do with uh, with, the, with the Dragon? It teaches you about trigger patience, it, it teaches you about uh, when to turn, be careful with your ammunition as well, to be preservative, to be patient. Uh, you have to... The reason you have to fly this is because you will learn how to fly the J35D afterwards. Same thing goes for the A32. Uh, I mean, the planes. Are the the reason these planes are in certain territories and in certain places is this: is because they teach you about uh, some things that the vehicle you're about to unlock requires. So, I pitch up for this area and. I just lock him up. I'm saying, "Hey, I'm here. Please turn with me. Please do something." And uh, with seven minutes of fuel, I'm light enough to pretty much turn with whoever I want. It doesn't matter. This area here, he has also no idea what he's doing. It's the premium one, and so I understand why. He's even flaring. He pretty much, uh, man, come on. There you go. Easy shot on his tail. I mean. Uh, the overwhelming, the overwhelming amount of premiums in uh, the match, the, the matchmaker man. I'm not saying people you need to fly something else. I'm just saying, uh, at least fly them right. <laughs> at least uh, devote some extra time in six, seven, and five, five point oh battle rating to at least learn about situation and awareness and certain maneuvers. Uh, then you can pretty much hop up into a Harrier and. You know, what this guy should do, if you ask me, is just uh, dive down and just get some extra speed and he could pretty much outrun me. This is all he had to do, outrun me, uh, force ahead with a MiG-21, then go back on me, I should be with no fuel, I should have to land, and he could pretty much uh, easily win the match. But I guess this would happen in a different dimension. So, J35, uh, J32B. Amazing aircraft, very good roll rate, very good guns, not much ammunition, the M9Bs, they're not good, they're bad, they're not bad, they're deadly if used correctly. Uh, no countermeasures, so be careful when going into blobs, into dogfights. It doesn't turn fight, but it does turn if you have proper amount of speed, it does retain that speed quite good if you don't apply your rate of load fully. Uh, sorry, fully. Uh, uh, that's it for me. Let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. Follow me on Twitter or TikTok for any updates on the channel. Uh, that's it for me. I'll see you in the next one.